Malaysia has been in the limelight for allegations of human trafficking, primarily those involving the Rohingya Burmese. Human rights workers and opposition politicians have claimed that the country's immigration officials have been selling refugees off to middlemen for huge sums of money. The immigration conducts regular raids to round up illegal immigrants and refugees. The middlemen are said to sell the refugees to fishing boats, brothels and as bonded slaves. The claim that immigration officials are involved in the human trade has been vehemently denied by government leaders. I totally disagreed with the statement given by this opposition. Say that uh, our immigration officer uh, involved with the, uh, what we call uh, bringing this uh, Rohingya uh, refugees. So I totally disagreed with that. And uh, I hope... Uh, Opposition will uh, be more uh, responsible on making this kind of statement. Malaysia does not recognize refugees as it has not ratified the 1951 United Nations Refugee Convention. Therefore, asylum seekers are lumped together with economic migrants and often end up in overcrowded immigration detention centers. Despite repeated denials by the Malaysian authorities, Press TV managed to secure an exclusive interview with a Rohingya who says he was trafficked by the Malaysian Immigration Office. Was before handed over to the border in Malaysian side, the agent already waiting in, in Malaysian side. And then uh, immigration officer also hand over face to face and also getting money. So we about 12 persons, uh, Malaysian immigration handed over to border trafficker and uh, by uh, 600 ringgit 150 US dollar and then uh, the trafficker agent uh, claim 1800 uh, to get free from there so my of my mem members and my relative and also my friend page Rohingya Burmese are Muslims who say they face political oppression in their own country. They also hold regular rallies in Kuala Lumpur, the country's federal capital, asking the United Nations High Commission for Refugees to send them to a third country for permanent resettlement. According to the United Nations High Commission for Refugees or the UNHCR, hundreds of Burmese Rohingya Muslims continue to flee into Malaysia, fearing political persecution in their homeland. This, according to the UNHCR, might give rise to more trafficking cases in the country. But the Malaysian government has promised to look into the welfare of the refugees. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV.